The problem with perfectionism comes when you stop yourself from doing things because you know they are not going to be perfect. Hi, my name is Virginia and I'm a graphic designer and my channel is all about creativity, the design process and basically documenting my journey as a graphic designer. So on this video I wanted to talk about this topic that came out recently while talking to a colleague, to another designer and it has been a very uh, relevant topic in my life for the last, I would say, maybe six months or so. And that topic is perfectionism, and especially perfectionism as a graphic designer or as a creative person. Let's talk first about the preconception of what perfectionism is and what is not. So perfectionism is not being perfect. It's actually quite the opposite. It's trying to be perfect. So. In my case, as a perfectionist, I try to, to, to do everything perfect in a way. Um, this happens in my, in my professional uh, job as a graphic designer. It happened when I was a filmmaker. So the upside of being a perfectionist designer is that I focus a lot on the details and I work on projects and on specific things until, until a point that I believe they are nearly perfect because to be honest they are never perfect <laughs> but the downside is that it's very hard to finish a project it used to happen to me a lot when i was creating videos and it was because i couldn't see the point where the video was done so honestly i had to work with tight deadlines and that was kind of the benefit um because having a deadline meant, okay, whatever is done, it's done. I don't have any more time to work on it. If I have more time, I will spend more time redefining ev refining everything, sorry, and editing and just changing things until the last minute. So being a perfectionist, um, I think people often see it as, oh, this, you know, it's, it's more like, I don't know, because it's hard to see from the outside, but I, what I think is that people see perfectionism as people who just, you know, pretend to be perfect or, or who are perfect and that's, no, that's completely wrong. And I've been following for, so for the last six months, so that's been my journey with perfectionism, I've been discovering a lot about this and to be honest, I, up until one point where I listened to a specific podcast, I didn't, like, I consider myself a perfectionist, but only on the good side, okay? So, you know when you have an interview and they ask you what are your strengths and what are your weaknesses, and many people, myself included, because I've done this many times, we will say, oh, my weakness is that I'm a perfectionist. And I think it's in the way that I am a perfectionist because I want to work on everything until it's perfect, and that's something you pretend or that's something you believe is a good thing because you know prospect um, employer is gonna be like oh you know they work perfectly and they are gonna work until it's perfect so that's that's awesome the problem with perfectionism comes when you stop yourself from doing things because you know they're not gonna be perfect so just trying new stuff or trying to learn a new skill uh, all of these things, the process is very messy and the process, when you start, uh, I don't know, learning a new software or learning to draw or learning to do anything that is, you know, outside of your comfort zone, I guess, it, the, the, the journey is never easy, which is one of the reasons I wanted to record all this, like kind of document my journey, because I want to try and share, you know, the, the bad stuff as well. I think it's very hard and I'm still trying to figure out how to do it. But the the journey is, is messy and the journey is I actually have it uh have a post it on my computer saying uh something like the the journey will be messy and imperfect, embrace it or something like that. Because as a perfectionist I have and I have done this for most of my life, I have stopped myself from learning some things or I have started learning it and when I have realized, oh my God, this is gonna take so many hours, so much effort, I don't want to do it anymore because I'm gonna suck, basically. So when, when you're a perfectionist, that's what happens. So you are afraid of 
um, I guess shame. You're afraid of looking bad. You're afraid of people. And this happens to me to this day. I don't like people seeing the process of me designing something. I want people to see when the design is mostly complete so they can look at it and understand what it is and and just you know when when i'm starting creating a layout or starting uh creating a, a logo or something i i don't want people to look at it like i don't want people to see it and and think like oh that doesn't look very good and have to excuse myself like oh no no i'm just starting you know it's so I prefer if they if, if no one sees it. So it's it's kind of um, being ashamed of showing the imperfect beginning or the imperfect side. So uh, the reason I've been in, um, the reason I've been more interested in this topic for the last few months is because I've started following uh, a coach. Uh, she is a coach for perfectionists. So her name is Sam Laura Brown. So I'll post her podcast um on the on the notes of the of the video and i really recommend to anyone to listen to her because i didn't realize that perfectionism was the thing that was stopping me from from doing stuff i thought i was a bad designer i thought i was lazy i thought i was you know just just incompetent like oh i cannot do this and when i started listening to her because she's a perfectionist so the way she talks is this is my experience this is what happens to me can you relate and obviously if you can relate then you just start to be more interested in the topic and that's what i've been doing so i've been working on it and i've been trying to figure out why you know why i have all this this um i don't know i don't want to say issues because it's not an issue it's, it's more like um a fear uh, of doing something that is not going to be perfect. So I'm, I'm, that's something I'm working on and I just wanted to share it because I'm aware that the same that happened to me that I didn't, I considered it something good in a way like being a perfectionist as in working hard for to make everything perfect and when I realized it was not like that, this has changed the way I work, this has changed the way I do things. And I'm still working on it. It's been like a few six months or maybe a bit less, but I'm still working on it and I'm still improving. But it's something that I just think is important for everyone to know that I think many creative people are perfectionists, but it's important to work on it. And basically the way to improve it is to just do it anyway, of course. But there is a lot of um, other work involved, mental work. And I, if if anyone who is watching feels like they might be stuck uh, in their creative career for some reason, I would recommend you check out the podcast or just try to read more about perfectionism because it can be, you know, um, something that helps you. So I don't want to make this video too much longer, but I just thought it was an interesting thought to share. So if you have any comments or if you have your own experience, please write it in the comments below and I'll be happy to read it and to answer. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.